just going to squat here and hope I'm in the recording. Hello. I don't want to go too far away from the camera because I don't really want to be shouting. You join me on a lovely Christmas morning. It's actually quite warm out here to be fair for the 25th and I actually am filming this on Christmas Day. Hopefully I can get this edited and uploaded by tonight. So if you're watching this on Boxing Day, I failed you. But anyway, I hope you're having a good day and a good year to come. But that's not what we're filming in this video. We're filming what's down there. Just ignore all the ashes and burning stuff over there. So, I don't know if you remember, but uh, I think about five months ago now, I buried some Hot Wheels cars. Two, in fact. I'll show a clip of the video of the ones I buried. And, yes... It's been five months and I thought, you know what, it'll make a good Christmas special to dig them up. I'm actually quite interested in seeing what has happened to them. So, there's the brick that I left there. So, um, we'll move that. Oh, lovely. Oh, wonderful. So, where that bit of wood is, I can't remember if the cars are which side they are. So it'll be interesting to see if we end up slicing one in half of this. I think they were here somewhere. Hopefully we can find them. Oh, I sunk right in there. I think that's where they'll be. There we go, look. So, if I zoom in a bit, here we have the cart was obviously in the... Oh. Right, 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 right. There's not much left of that, is there? Really? Tell you what, I'm gonna get some gloves on. This is kind of what I expected from this, to be fair. I didn't expect the cardboard to survive one bit. Uh, the plastic has, the plastic's fed absolutely fine, to be honest. To be honest, the car, the, the car looks fine. Like, even look, the wheel, even the um, posts and the wheels haven't rusted. Right, there's something really questionable on the back of that, though. Anyway, let's try and find the other one. Oh no, I can see it. There it is, look. If I get it in the camera, it'd be nice. Covered in mud. And to be fair, I think there's something living in it. I think there is a slug or something inside it. That's always good. Yeah. Lovely. To be honest, these look fine. They actually have survived pretty well. Um, I was expecting, like, you know, the paint to come off. I was expecting the posts to be completely rusted. The posts look in good nick. Like, I was expecting them to be completely rusted. Sadly, I think because I didn't bury them deep enough... Oh, going off shot here. I was... Because if you get high enough pressure, you get pressure on the ground, that it actually crush the cars. I was kind of interested if that had happened, but obviously I didn't bury them that deep. And they're quite small things, they probably they probably take the pressure. There we go, it's like it was never there. So yeah, to be fair, especially this one. Obviously this one had the the cover of this. It's got some moisture in there though, and there's some dirt in there. I'm not sure I guess that stuff on there is leftovers from the um, cardboard. Well, there we go. I think I'm going to leave these outside to just sort of naturally clean off. I mean, this one's got some questionable doings going on in there. There's some weird white stuff. It's, it's whatever's the same for this one. What is that stuff? It looks like eggs of something. There we go. Oh, they, they still stand a chance. Whatever the fuck it was. But, yeah. I'm going to leave these out because I really can't be bothered to clean these now. It's Christmas, I don't want to deal with this. And yeah, hopefully this was somewhat interesting. So apparently if you bury Hot Wheels cars for five months, you, not a lot happens. They just get disgusting and dirty. Apart from the card. The, the card will rot away, obviously because it's cardboard. That happens. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned for five months since my last video and yeah now I'm going to compare my channel as I did in the last video and see how I've gone thank you for watching and I'll see you again another time so here on my channel page um, I don't know if my background or pictures changed probably hasn't but I can't remember what I had originally 
because I should have probably watched the video, but I didn't. But now I'm actually at 120 subscribers, which is really, really cool. I've actually broken the 100 subscribers or point. This is amazing. So hopefully we'll reach 200 soon. Don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. I think releasing a video a day has been helping because I did that for 12 days leading up to Christmas. So I might try and continue on afterwards. I have got some content around, but obviously if I run out, then I can't really do it every day because I'm not, I'm quite busy. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's doing really well. So I'd like to say thank you to all the people who subscribed and a really big thank you to all the people who comment and like my videos, you know, regularly. And yeah, it means a lot. It means the world to me. And hopefully I can uh, grow a little bit more. And of course, I've got two big projects hopefully coming soon. We'll have to see about it. Depends how it goes with recording and whether we can get the money together. But it should be cool. So, yeah. Uh, thank you again. And, yeah, that is all. I hope you all have a great holiday. And a brilliant new year. And I shall see you again very soon. Probably tomorrow. We'll see. It's Boxing Day tomorrow. Everyone will be hungover. Including me. <sighs> anyway. Farewell, have a good one. I should be a nature watch person. This, oh, I'm probably not even recording them to be fair.